I'm Dale Smith for Looting Politics, and when I think back to the political lessons of 2020, I'd like to think that the value of federalism is probably one of the biggest. We've seen over the course of this pandemic that the federal government has a very limited set of levers at its disposal when it comes to areas of provincial jurisdiction, such as healthcare, and that makes a difference when it comes to how we conceptualize uh, how politics should be working in a crisis situation like this. We have seen instances where the federal government was able to kludge together some assistance programs, such as for the disability community or with some rental supports, but those were very limited and very ineffective because the federal government doesn't really have the tools available for those because they are largely in areas of provincial jurisdiction. We also seem to have a conception that the federal government can employ emergency powers that would make it much more easy to do area, uh, enter areas of provincial jurisdiction, kind of like American federal government can do with its states. But in Canada, our rules around federal and provincial uh, jurisdiction are much more ironclad. This has led to a lot of misconceptions and demands that the federal government start employing the Emergencies Act for a number of different tools without necessarily realizing that without provincial consent, that would essentially be poisoning the well of federalism. This is really difficult for the federal government to try and do anything about, and this is one of the things that we really needed to wrap our heads around this year. This distinction is important because of how we hold different levels of government to account. If we focus entirely on the Prime Minister, then we're letting Premiers uh, get away with not doing enough to curb the spread of COVID, or especially all of the long uh, deaths in long-term care homes. It's important to know when the next election cycles roll around in these provinces about just what the level of culpability of these premiers is. And in order to do that, we need to better understand how federalism plays a role and what uh, areas are provincial and what are federal jurisdiction. Our system depends on being able to hold the right people to account. And that's why I think this is one of the top lessons of 2020. For Looney Politics, I'm Dale Smith.